Hello everyone and welcome to the Train to Wise Air Pair demo. My name is Tim and today I'm joined by my colleagues again. Hi guys. And today we're excited to give you a quick demo of Train to Wise API, talk to you about its features and how we can um, get started. So how do we access the information on Train to Wise API? Uh, yes, Tim. Just simply Google search TransferWise API, and the first link you will find is our TransferWise API documentation, which is the best place to start. So let's go to Payout's Guide, read through this, scroll down a bit, you will find uh, a link to our sandbox test environment. Create your account there, get your token, and you are ready to start playing with our API. Awesome. And signing up for Sandbox and generally using our API, even in live environments, is absolutely free. So on the right-hand side of the screen, we're currently using Postman tool, which essentially allows us to communicate with trains to wise by API and by essentially giving various requests through the Postman, we can get um, information of trains to wise, such as meet market rates, which is the first feature we are going to show you. Uh, yeah, this is a very simple call. You just specify source currency, target currency, and you get a mid market rate between these currencies and the current moment, or you can fetch historical data as well. So imagine this call can be done from your website or from your mobile app, and this info will be returned to you. Awesome. So we right now got uh, the exchange rate from pounds to euros, which at the moment is 1.11. Um, and that's, that's, that's pretty much it. That's how easy it is. And the second feature we're going to show you, which is setting up uh, transfers via API. Um, so we're going to mirror you the experience of trainswise.com and show you essentially what happens there and on the Postman um, as we basically set up the Trainsify API. So what is the first thing that we do when, in, when we need to set up a transfer? Uh, yes, Tim. So on the left side is our website. On the, raft, on the right side, imagine this is your, your mobile app or website already integrated with us. Uh, so let's start with Transferwise uh, website. Uh, first step we do, we actually create a quad which specifies currency route and amount. Yeah, so from pounds to euros is a transfer we're setting up. We're specifying um, the amount as well that we would like to send to our recipient and it's 1,000 pounds that will be converted to euro. And that's exactly the same thing that we've done on the Postman as well. So when we do that, we essentially get the specific idea of that quote. Uh, so thousand pounds to euros. And what do we do next with this? Yeah, let's create actually quote. We have created it. We have got quote ID. And let's save it for future use. Awesome. So we're going to go back there. But this information has been saved. Yeah. Now we go to this second step, which is when we create the recipient. So we already have the recipients, Adam Smith, uh, prepared on Postman as well as on TradeSwise. Yeah, we actually created this uh, virtual person via API and uh, we want to send money to this person. We just specified its IBAN and uh, we specified that this is private recipient. We've got his ID and we will use this ID when creating transfer. Awesome. So every recipient that you create gets their specific ID and essentially same with quotes, you just copy and paste it there and we have two important things prepared. We know how much we want to send to our recipient and we have the recipient details. You're right. Awesome. And next step, we actually review the information we provided before. We review uh, the amount, we review the currency, the recipient details. We can make some reference message, add some, and uh, just confirm and our transfer is actually created. But we will create this transfer via API. We will not create it from the website. So let's just hit send. And we have our new transfer ID created. Let's check if it's here. Sure, let's see if it's up there already. All right, awesome. Yeah. So we have successfully just created a transfer via API. Um, and the last thing to do would be to fund the transfer. And the best way to do that is to fund your transfer via transferwise balance. And of course, all of these features and steps that we've just done can, of course, be automated. Um, and I guess the other main question is, how do businesses uh, benefit from using a uh, TrainSwise API? Uh, yes, Tim, very good question. So first of all, you don't have to log in to your TrainSwise account to create a transfer or to fetch a balance statement or to check your recipients list or to create recipient. You can do it from your website or from your mobile app. 
And uh, you can actually automate your pay payouts, make thousands of them, tens of thousands, in, in a limited amount of time. That's awesome. Um, and as Sergei just mentioned, there is uh, a few other features that TrainSurvice API can offer, such as getting the list of all of your recipients, getting the uh, transfer history, getting the history of the balance statements, um, checking on the transfers live through the webhooks, on the status, uh, and so much more. Um, yeah, so it's a free-to-use experience, uh, and it's very easy to integrate into your website or any other platform that you would like to um, use TrainSurvice API on. Um, and of course, if you have any uh, further questions um, on how to get started um, or any specific questions about using the API, you're welcome to send us an email at api at and we'll be more than happy to help. Yep. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you found this useful, and take care. Cheers. Thank you.